What's up guys? Welcome back to another quick short video. This is Alex. Uh, and in this video, this is just a quick short, uh, not short, but a quick video because I want to try again this microphone again. I have a video with not many views, but I changed the decibel level. So hopefully the audio is better and uh, hopefully uh, we can get a little bit of feedback. Other than that, if you haven't, if you're new here, please subscribe, smash the notification bell on. Uh, share this video with social media and if you want to support the channel uh, you want to you, you can do it for free just check out the affiliate links in the description below and other than that let me show you what I got so as you saw on one of the few videos uh, previous videos I had painted this uh, the my axum the blue axum is no longer the blue axum but uh, I think whenever I was putting it together I damaged the paint over here was a little bit too wet, so I kind of fixed it. I just got to put a little bit of clear coat on top of that. And while I was at it, as you know, I had painted my uh, swing otter. And uh, I just had to. I had to. Once I did this, I had to do the otter. So I took the otter apart again. You can see I have the tire fork this tire is tubeless uh, fork handlebar I have another stem coming up for that one I took off everything I dismantled it again and I brought it outside if you haven't seen the video where I converted this ram front end check it out I leave a card right here and tacos right there because it was thundering a little bit ago so I put them in the garage but since the garage is open I had to tie them down because otherwise he will not be there right now and here it is so i had to i kind of re-sanded everything down i did a few stencils right there i have the same logo up to, uh, at the headset and uh i added another color right here hope i haven't clear coated this yet i also added my mtv alex batch right there and then of course i loved how this thing turned out so I did it for this one again. I wish I would have done the axum on the top end instead of the bottom end, just in case when I'm recording you can see this, hopefully. But from now on, if I had to redo the axum, I'll do it like this. But I, I just love the way that this thing turned out. And I'm gonna do the, the 2K clear coat on this one as well because the other one was Rust-Oleum clear coat is not good for this. And I haven't written my axum up to this video yet because uh, I was waiting to get more of the 2K clear coat so that I can paint uh, a headset, headset spacer that I had. I already painted it, but I want to clear coat it. And also the seat tube clamp, I painted it. I wanted to clear coat it, so I was waiting for that can to come in. Once I'm spraying this off, I will touch those up and then properly sit the uh, dropper post on the axum. And that way I can actually start writing that thing because as of today, the recording of this video, I have not taken the axum as it sits right now to the trail. But right now, I mean, like I said, I just had to do it to this one. I was gonna just put clear coat on top of, of what I already had for the outer, but uh, I was not very, very happy with just the, the toothbrush uh, thing. Uh, sprayed off of the opposite color so I just redid it so I think it turned out way better now with the stencils in it's not just bare just two-tone paint I think it's gonna look up way better once I clear coat this thing and put it back together now let me show you something in the garage it started raining again taco say hi de la sola talks a lot okay so uh, as you know I have ordered a lot of these tires just to have them ready for whenever I need them because this maxes they're gonna be uh, they're halfway there maybe a little over halfway there so once and I was not gonna pay $80 again for each of those tires because they went up like crazy so 
for 11 13 dollars plus taxes i got six of these hillbilly 29 by 2.6 i think they out of stock already and i also order some 27 that's a 29 as well 650b which is 27 and a half by 2.6 that i can probably fit on the axe um, on the otter if i wanted to do uh, 27 and a half i have the stock wheels i just had to replace the uh the hub at the rear for a cassette compatible or use the ones on my wife's bike which is at the shed outside and um yeah i just got a, a lot of those just for the sake of it because why not and i have a few things that i'm gonna do uh, this is the one the original wheel i mean tire from the t8 one of them has a big hole on the sidewall and i just saw a hack that i'm not gonna do a hack from a video of a guy that used um neoprene uh glue what i'm gonna do if i wanted to replace the sidewall over here is actually use a actual tubeless patch because these tires they have a lot of grip already they still have a lot of grip and this might if they fit on the other i run this on the other because right now i have a 2.4 on the on the front that i have bought from the facebook marketplace tubeless ready uh, 110 through axle i got this whole thing for like 70 dollars and uh, if the 2.4 fits at the rear which i doubt it i will just make front and rear to uh, the wtbs but we'll see about that what else we got going on i think at the moment that's all i have going on right now i got a few more uh, another thing coming up for this one it has not arrived so whenever that comes in i'll show that guys i showed that to you guys for this one i did a little something but i'm gonna do a bike check either on this one or the axum once I got the axiom all ready to go. I will make a, a separate video about that. But and that, this is the light that I used all the time whenever I'm riding. And I this is a Shark uh, 500. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below. I did a quick short on that one um, with the link on it. So if you guys are interested in riding at night, this thing for less than $50 also comes with the rear uh, red light. They last like maybe two three hours maybe three hours they have different settings i love this thing another thing that i've been using a lot is this uh, gps uh, computer and you can add attachments to that i use use it for the maps i mean it doesn't have built-in maps but uh you can sync it to strava and then uh it sends the data to strava and then you can also have the ant plus uh, heart monitor cadence sensors and all that added to this and then you will not have to be wearing a watch if you were want to go on that route i just use this as a backup because i have my watch but sometimes my watch loses signal i don't know why so if i lose the map then i have a backup and the, and i like to see the speed that i'm going and this one shows it to you it also shows the uh the average it shows you the um uh how much have you gone up elevation and all that good stuff so that's really good then over here on my gravel i have not done anything to this one except for the videos that you already saw and then uh i don't know if i'm gonna be doing anything else to that one just yet so i don't ride that except when it's raining or when i take my kids to soccer practice my main bike is still my t8 and my axum and that thing looks freaking good that two-tone three-tone fade kind of thing I, <laughs> is looking so good like i said on that other video look at this thing look at this thing i love how this thing turned out and i really hope that the paint lasts a while with that automotive clear coat we'll see about that all right like i said a quick checkup uh, on what's going on over here at the let's ride garage i don't know if i should make that name official let me know down in the comments below i've seen a few channels that says let's ride 
However, an onset let's ride MTB. I might do let's ride uh, dash MTB Alex, something like that. Cause uh, like I said, if I want to do some merchandise, MTB Alex is not going to be that appealing to a lot of you because it's very specific and let's ride kind of became like a slogan and uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, the other purpose of this video was to check this out. Hopefully audio quality is way better at nine decibels. And then, uh, you know what, once I have it out, I can change the setting right here. So that's nine decibels. Let's go down to, that is 12 decibels, 12 decibels, ABC, one, two, three, 15 decibels, 15 decibels, ABC, let's ride. That is zero decibels, let's ride. That is three decibels, let's ride. This is six decibels, let's ride. This is nine decibels, let's ride. This is 12 decibels, let's ride. I will not know which one is better on the decibels areas until I edit this video, but for now, if you like this video, again, smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Other than that, check the affiliates in the description below. That is going to wrap it up for today. And I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride. Goodbye.